With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Element A decays into element C by a two-step process. So in the first step, A decays to B plus alpha particle and B decays to C plus 2, let's say, beta minus particle. So here we can write this reaction as, let's say, A here decays to B plus here alpha particle given as 4 to helium. So we can say here, if this has mass number as A, atomic number as Z, so the mass number of B will be A minus 4 and atomic number of B will be Z minus 2. In similar manner, if we consider this reaction, B giving C plus, let's say 2 beta minus, that is 2 electrons. So here we can see the mass number of B is A minus 4 and atomic number of B is Z minus 2. So balancing here, let's say mass number atomic number, this becomes A minus 4 and since this is minus 2, hence we can say that Z is the atomic number of C. So here we can say that let's say A and C elements in option number 1 and 2, we can say here the atomic number are same. So A and C, since their atomic number are same, hence they are isotopes. So option number 1, A and C are isotopes is correct. They are not isobar. As in isobar, we can say mass number must be same. And here we can say B and C. So here B and C are isobars. So B and C have same, let's say, mass numbers. B and C must be isobars but not isotopes as in option number 3. So option 3 is incorrect. And here we can say A and B are isobars. So here we can see A and B have different atomic number as well as mass number. So they are nice, neither isotope nor isobar. So option 4 is also incorrect. So correct option is option number 1. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.